Hello, everyone. This is your boy, Luther, coming to you live from episode one of the Nerd Outlet podcast. Sounds a little weird, but does <laughs> yeah. bear with us for a second. And by us, I mean, joining me as always, Gabriel Twista. Yo, 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 yo. Nathan Halley. What is going on? And Greg- <laughs> Interweb. No, I'm not there. I'm not fucking doing that. <laughs> and Greg T. This isn't live. This is recorded. Um, oh, my bad, my so bad. You're, you're lying. Did you say live? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In front you of a idiot. live studio audience. <laughs> my bad. I got, I got too caught up with it. Chita. I thought we were live. We got Twitch playing in the background. I, I just, I felt all caught up. For our hey, but, Facebook uh, live followers. What's up, nerds? <laughs> so, yeah. So, we're changing it up a little bit. This is episode one of the Nerd Outlet podcast, where we're free to Discuss. talk about anything. Yeah. So, yeah, we've been thinking about it for a little bit, talking about it for a little bit, making the no show a little bit more conversational and not always about video games, but we just decided to just... Kill it. Kill it. Murder it. Hey. Die, I talked about it bitch. earlier. No, no show hit 22. Yeah, I mean, you know about them early 20s, man. Uh, hey. He kind of went off a deep end. Tell him. Tell him. Uh, yeah. I mean, like. He dr- spiraled to prostit- spiraled into prostitution. Spiraled prostitution to, I mean, heroin addiction to. Hookers and blow will kill you, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And no show. How went, rehab no didn't show work. Pray, dude. <laughs> he was doing, uh, what's, what's his name? Scrooge McDuck. Jumping into piles of gold. Yeah, I don't know where he was getting this that's money from. How, that's how the no show died. <laughs> Fifteen feet into a thing of gold. No, it was that was hallucination. So it's a pile of needles. Ooh. Yeah, with heroin. Ooh. Ooh, actually, they jumped into the gold, popped its back, had a really bad acid flashback, Ooh. started tripping really bad. That acid flashback started counteracting. With the heroin uh, <laughs> over, uh, overdose that he almost had earlier that day, dude, Man. it just went spiral, and then he you just you ever seen the movie OD'd. Crank? It's real dark. Oh no, nah, I wanted to, but oh, I heard it's I. I was gonna say it's just like Crank. Oh. Crank, you know, yeah. What well, well, what is Crank? You never saw the movie Crank. Is it's, that the with Jason the, Statham? Yeah, Jason Statham, the one where he like needs to charge himself. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's like it's if like you know, stop moving. I was you thinking about that. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Crank's a great movie. I was thinking about that. Uh, what was it called Crash? Is it that? Uh, the drama no. movie. The drama movie yeah. was like a right. bunch of characters. No, You're talking about Driver. They're not even remotely the same. But isn't Crash from uh from Broadway? Uh, I don't know. I thought I thought Crash was a play. I just know right, that right, Crash and Crank are not whoever, related at all. Whoever likes any of that stuff is probably like, God damn, this fucking idiot. This idiot. Yo, talking about badass movies though. You guys see my dude uh Xander Cage is back? Who the fuck's that? Skiing through forests. Yeah. Jumping off tree limbs. Wait, Triple wait. X. Oh, oh yeah. He's back. And the real one, not it's, a it's not, ice not, cube? That, uh, not that off ice, with, cube. Oh, ice cube. Ice cube <laughs> for <laughs> life. Not that family friendly, dude. <laughs> yeah. Going back to the BA, but yeah, no, that they're trying to they're trying to bring back the '90s with extreme movies. Uh, that's I not mean, a yeah, but break. XXX was 2001, I think. Yeah, it was 2001, but like that whole movie, like it was uh, basically an homage to '90s. Yeah, movies. it literally was. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Oh yeah, dude. I'm yeah, de- we'll see. I mean, like, I like the first one, but I also haven't seen that movie in probably 10 years, <laughs> so uh, well, I, I don't know how much up. I would like that God. now. I saw the trailer for Ice Cube <laughs> one on YouTube a couple years back. <laughs> Solid was movie. Like, oh, was it like Triple X? What was the what State was of the Union? State of the Union. Okay, that's yeah. what I thought it was. Direct sequel to Are We There Yet? <laughs> <laughs> what was? Is it Are We Home Yet? What are we done it? yet? Are we are done, done yet? Was a sequel when they're yeah. building a house? Yeah. 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 And then they had a TV show called Are We There Yet? They had a TV series? show. Was Ice on? Cube? Did he ever cameo on that? Yeah, he was the main character, was he? No, 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 no. It was nah. Terry Crews. Why, why Terry was it Cruz. Terry Crews? Dude, my dude Terry Crews. I love Terry Crews. PC. Yeah, Matt PC Master Race. Yeah, uh, PC Master Race. Oh, he's Twitch. He's Twitch streaming now. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, or very soon. I, I've subscribed to his YouTube channel because Terry Crews now my homeboy. Dude, yeah. Terry Crews is that dude. Did you hear Terry Crews is really cool? And I, I just watched this video and it, was, and it was this kid playing and he was talking about the PC he built. And I was like, oh no, fuck this. I'm going to subscribe to this. See what this guy's got. He asked the community for help on how to build a PC. Yeah, that's he awesome. like went on, I think, the Reddit. Too. Yeah, he did. Um, hey. and that's why That's why r slash PC Master Ace. So he like live streams and stuff? He's about yeah, to. Yeah, but he's basically the PC oh. Master Ace mascot for the time being. That's awesome. <laughs> that's just awesome. so um, everyone Nintendo listening. Nintendo has Mario. 
PC <laughs> has Terry Crews. Has Terry Crews. PC has Terry Crews. <laughs> Yo, fuck all you guys. <laughs> I told you to go to PC Master. So we got fucking Terry Crews. What do you guys got? What does PlayStation got? Crash oh, Bandicoot. Got shoe. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. Shoe. He says shoe. shoe. A, we, a 50 uh, year old Asian man. I don't know. So he don't look good. That Adam Boy is fucking left. Cassarai. Fucking left to go work for Microsoft. Basically. Oh, shit. You hear about that? Backstab. No, I didn't know that's where he went. Yeah, I didn't well, either. Well, no, he went to the dev. Uh, he's basically the CEO for the uh, dev team that makes um, Killer Instinct. Oh. oh, that piece of shit? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Dude, it's not a piece of shit. It's not it's a good not fighter. It's not a good fighter. People who like it, yeah, though, say it's a fantastic it's game. Well, they're pieces of shit. Well, Every single one of them. I don't like Street Damn. I don't really like Street Fighter, but I know it's a good game. It's a piece of shit. No. <laughs> Not Street Fighter Five though. That's a piece of shit. Again, yeah. But yeah. I haven't got to play it yet. I was very interesting though. I'm very, I'm very excited to see the future of Terry Crews on YouTube. Yeah, man. Maybe he becomes a like internet celebrity, and that's what everybody remembers I him by. And I'm like, nah. I remember him when he Not was trying to fuck a black guy dressed up as a white girl. Hey. <laughs> and white chicks. Greatest Terry Crews no. scene of all time. He was completely obsessed with one of them, and it was the best thing possible. No, I like when like he fucked that white dude and put him in a wheelchair. Wait, what? Yeah, in that movie, the same movie. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, because remember he like trips off X, and like he, and sees, he thinks it's her. Yeah, he thinks it's her, but he fucks that, that white yes, dude, and then the next morning about. he rolls up in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I gotta watch that movie again, man. It's, not, it's been not a while. It's not that good. It's I mean, right. it's, it wasn't. Isn't the Wayne Brothers? Yeah, the Wayne Brothers. Yeah, it's all yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's not that good. I mean, I like Scary Movie yeah, One. Scary Movie One's awesome. Scary Movie Two is actually pretty good too. That's like the one with um. Movie. You don't like Scary Movie Two? You don't no, like I Take like, My Strong Hand? No, I like. One, oh, three, dude, no, fuck that one. I like one, three, fuck and four. Fuck that one. Two sucks. Yeah, three and four are good because Kevin Hart is no, in it. No, fuck that shit. Okay, the third one's decent. The it's third hilarious. one, the fourth one's. All right. The third the one was the one with like the Eminem thing, right? Yeah. Right. No, yeah, yeah, that was fucking funny. The first two are like the best. Stuff. Yeah. I love the beginning of the first one when the dad's getting roadhead and he accidentally runs over his daughter. <laughs> and <laughs> the wife comes back up and she's like, what was that? And he's like, nothing, dear. And pushes, pushes his head <laughs> back down. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone seen Haunted Houses in here? Yeah. Did you not like them? I fucking love them. Then why you just talk shit about the Wayne brothers? Because No, no, no. Marlon Wayne is in that single-handedly. We're not talking about Marlon and his piece of shit brother. Oh, Damon? Yeah. Damon's pretty chill, though. No, he's not. I, I mean, he's I a think bit, he's Have you ever watched the show? Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a piece of shit. He never wanted to fuck D. But then he did fuck D. No, he didn't fuck D. Yeah, he did. That one night no. when they got drunk. That doesn't count. Is this a they reality show? Again, though. No, it's a it's a it's like a sketch comedy show they had back in the no, day. No, yeah, it was pretty funny. I mean, I it was an all right show. It was all right. All right, all right. John Witherspoon was in it. That's the funny That's fucking why man. Who? John Witherspoon, Granddad from Boondocks. Yeah, uh, only reason also, I fucked with that show. I never fucked with Boondocks. the the dad from Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then also he's on Soul Plane. He's um, Ray Charles supposed to be, or is Ray Charles also? No, in that's uh, John Witherspoon. Yeah, he's yeah. I'm saying I'm just making sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to cry when that man dies. I will, too. Fucking love John Wilson. I've only, only seen the first Friday. Are is any of the other ones decent? Friday 2. Like, no, sorry, next Friday is my favorite. Friday after the next, I've seen so many fucking times. I just Friday, I can't stand it. Tell them, tell them which one's in chronological order. Okay, it's there? Friday, next Friday, Friday after the next. The first one's the one you've seen with Smokey, whatever. And then the yeah. one that was supposed to come out this year, last Friday. Last Friday. Okay, I was about to say, weren't they going to do one more? They're still saying they are. I mean, they have a whole cast now. but You want to hear what's holding up the movie, though? Uh, what, Chris Tucker? Yeah, because yeah. he, uh, he wants more money than he deserves. Yeah. Who? They want to get Chris Tucker back in the movie. Okay. But he's, he's asking, asking for too much. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, welcome to anybody that's trying to revive a revive anything. I mean, they brought back Barbershop. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody Jeez. cared about Barbershop in the first place. Fun was fact that with Queen Latifah? Was that no. Queen Latifah? One of them, yeah. She was the Beauty Shop one. is Queen Latifah. Beauty Shop. Beauty Beauty shop. shop. Is with um is Ice Ice the entertainer or no? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. He's in it. He's in it. I know what you're talking about now. My bad. I mean, no, no. You shop Barbie shop or barber shop? Hey, no, you're barbie good shop. because barber shop. Crazy I'm a barber. Is <laughs> both those movies joined in the new barber shop? So it doesn't even matter. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, Queen Latifah's mm-hmm. in the new barber shop. In the barber shop cinematic universe. <laughs> yeah, in the new bar- <laughs> and, the, and the and the BCU. <laughs> the BCU. Damn, Greg. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm I'm excited for that then. Yeah, oh, Barbershop <laughs> Civil War. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they have a for this beauty shop. shop. <laughs> I'm down with that, man. I'm down Be with awesome. that. Awesome. So uh we got a we got a topic, guys. 
Oh yeah, we had topic. I'll, I'll, br- I'll bring it up. Is since it, I'm it, the one that is word word is word kind of the guy for this. It's a dirty topic. It's a dirty topic. Ooh, Something near nasty. and dear. Very sloppy. Ooh, very greasy. I like that. Ooh, does it swallow? I mean, you can. Does I, we also told you not to talk about swallowing? I, didn't, I just brought it up. <laughs> broke the one rule. I broke fuck, broke. We had two rules. We had two. He rules. Already broke one. Fuck the rules. <laughs> he already he already broke one. Yeah, I did. No, but anyway, um, does anybody like pizza? No. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm a calzone guy. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> nah, dude. <you're> Stromboli's <laughs> all the way. You know Strumbolis. why? Because ricotta cheese is disgusting. Dude, ricotta cheese is fucking awesome. How the fuck? Nope. Do, do you not like lasagna? Get some stuffed shells. I do not like lasagna. I only like cannolis. You don't get stuffed shells? Yeah, fuck with stuffed French shells. French that in marinara? No. Oh. Ricotta is like one of the worst cheeses ever. Dude, it is not. It's amazing. Oh. It's disgusting. The reason I like a calzone Shrimble. is because it's not as sloppy as a pizza, and like you can hold it in one hand. I can bread. do that with a stromboli. Literally, I a mean, stromboli is that without I, that. Without calzone's too much bread. I feel you on that. What? It's not enough like cheese and shit calzone's inside of it. Too much bread. Uh, it depends on it. Yeah, but I can agree with you. I mean, Dude, if you get like a half a calzone, it should be good. Peace loving pizza though. Mm, those are damn good. Those are the best things they had. But anyway, what I was bringing up is basically everybody likes pizza, but everybody's pretty divided on what their favorite pizza is. We're going to have two questions. First one is, what is your favorite pizza you have ever had? No barriers or like what it is. It could be some place in fucking India to, <laughs> to Washington <laughs> to California to Hawaii to good old Woodstock, Georgia. Georgia. Hey. hey. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Luther. What is your favorite pizza you have ever had? My favorite pizza I've ever had. Let me take you guys back. Ooh. About a year ago. All right. Yeah. Demeanor is getting very serious right here, guys. When I was can't see this. getting very Dominican. One hundred percent. When I was in the good old Rocky Mountains Ooh. in Colorado, Canadian S- smoking like eighty five joints. No, 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 no. <laughs> we were at a we were at a YMCA. That's uh, not allowed there, because you know. Yeah. So you walked off the property, smoked 85 bucks <laughs> <from> back <laughs> on the property. Nah. But um, no, so we're chilling over there, and at the YMCA, they have a buffet that's complete and utter garbage. I have never tasted worse food in my life. So we asked the people there, like, is there anything good in that little town down there? And they're like, oh, there's a bar that serves pizza that's pretty, pretty straight. Get there. And you're like, all right, like I'm, I'm expecting. Like, no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting some decent pizza. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's dude, it's bar food. So you go, you go with no chub at all. No, yeah, no that's chub. what I'm saying. Okay. I, I'm not okay. even, I'm not even anticipating anything. I'm just, I'm hungry as shit because we went to this shitty buffet. I tried something. I don't understand how you make, how you serve raw macaroni, but I guess you can. <laughs> and that shit was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> You just throw it in hot water, right? That's how you make macaroni. Like, yeah. Like they, just like, they made like cheese sauce and they got, just, like they poured it out of the box and yeah, just like, the <laughs> cheese sauce on there. Yeah, like, just the straight dry. Like, like, <laughs> craft. <laughs> this is the crunchiest <laughs> mac and cheese I've ever had. <laughs> but anyway, you're like, at that point. Also, that's like the worst thing that ha- ever happened is like when you're really hungry yeah. and you get something and it's shit. Oh, and you're like straight I'm not up. Eating this. And in this case, it was completely inedible. It sounded like this buffet. Oh no, yeah, no, that dude. It, everything was everything Wait, was there. You would have died. Terrible. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm glad oh, that. Oh, uh, dude. Uh, yeah, I've heard a lot of circumstances with uh, <laughs> raw macaroni. <laughs> raw macaroni, yeah, dude. You'd call the fucking <laughs> dude. Get that the ambulance like on stat, man. We need that. We need that right now. Dude, just I had thinking to... about just thinking about the the raw. I also like how you said raw macaroni, dude. Because it was as opposed raw to like macaroni. uncooked or yeah. something like that. Dude, it was disgusting. It was terrible. But anyway, you go in this bar. Yeah, go in this bar. <laughs> and honestly, like since no one's expecting this to be even remotely good, we order like normal pizza. Like none of their like specialty pizzas. It's just like pepperoni. Somebody ordered like an extra cheese, and I think we had some other just random topic. Hey, also, mm-hmm. before we get into anything else, yeah. straight pepperoni is always the way to go anywhere. Like, no matter what. But I'm saying, like, if you know it, like you said, the specialty. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. nothing wrong with a pepperoni pizza. No, yeah, true, yeah. I'm not yeah. going to judge anybody, even if they don't even want a specialty pizza. Now, if you're going straight just cheese, like my dad does, or he gets, like, he gets, like, just meat. Just a little beef sauce, so- like, beef patty. Bullshit. And I'm like, Why? <laughs> I was like, you're not going to get any pepperoni on this pizza? Like, nah, pepperoni, I feel fam. like pepperoni was 
made for pizza. But anyway. Yeah. No, I mean, so yeah. That's a good call. Good call. Go ahead, go no, ahead. yeah. So, you know, we order our, our normal pizzas. Bite this. And I'm like, hey, everybody else. Anybody else fucking with this pizza? Because this pizza is fucking <laughs> delicious. <laughs> and everybody else is like, I see my little brother's already eating two slices. My uncle has already down like, ha- I mean, my uncle and his like, and his son and my cousin, they've already down like half their pizza. And I was like, shit, I guess everybody's fucking with this pizza. It's like a really quiet table. No, yeah, it's a really quiet table. It's like everybody's me and you eating this pizza. And the, and <laughs> yeah. like, we're talking, 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 get food. And then just look at each other and go, that was good. <laughs> like, I straight up, I don't even ask, I don't even think we go, dude, you liking that? Yeah, dude. And then go back to eating. Like, I don't even think we get to that point. No. It's a like complete eating. silence when we fucking eat. And then, we, then we're done. And then we start talking. <laughs> but no, yeah, that dude, that pizza was good. And what sucks is I don't even remember. You don't know what the bar name is? No, but I do know, though, that it turned out that um, out of everything they made in the bar, the pizza was the only thing they treated special. Like, they had, like, their own little special pizza oven back there. Mm. And What type of pizza was it? I think it was... um. What is it called? Like wood fire? Mm-hmm. Okay. It might have been like wood fire Thin pizza. crust? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Because I remember it was crunchy. Dope. And I thought, I, when I first bit into it, I was like, damn, this shit's crunchy because it's frozen. Fuck the Rockies. And then I kept eating it and I was like, nah, this is good pizza. I love the Rockies. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, it was a dough good. Cause no, I, dude, like, oh, it's everything was good. Like, the okay. toppings. I, mm. I, th- like, still, this is like a tiny little... I mean, I guess when you're by a whole bunch of ski resorts, you can't really say it's like a like a lame little mountain town, mm-hmm. but it looks like when you're, when you're driving there during the day, it looked like just like a lame, name little lame little mountain town. But at night, it, like they light it up with all these like Christmas lights and stuff like that. Even though we went there like Thanksgiving, but it dude, it, it was nice at night. Like I'm saying, it looks just like a lame little mountain town, but it ended up having some of the best damn pizza or no, the yeah. best damn pizza. And everybody and like literally everybody around there knows this is the spot to eat to at go. night. And everybody's there mm. because I was asking, like, when we left, we wanted to know if there was anything good because we're like, hey, if they have this little hole in the wall right here, maybe they have other little hole in the walls. And then when we were asking the locals, they all laughed and like, nah, this is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, place. Is okay, okay, see, like, that's like Nashville, but like expanded more. Oh, There's okay. so many small little places. Yeah. yeah. And bro, like, they will have the biggest lines you'll ever see. Yeah, oh, yeah. damn. So like, we went to this place called like Biscuit Love. Dude, like, we went there, um, I think we tried to go there Sunday morning. When me and Devin went to Nashville two weeks ago, and or two, three, or something like that. Yeah. And um, we were leaving Monday morning, so it was like the, the second to last chance to get breakfast. And we tried. We went there, and dude, the line was literally like circling. There's probably like over 100 people outside. No, that's how it is. There's like yeah. a, a taco place also in Nashville that it's like literally just a little <coughs> shack. Yep. That I think at one point was maybe like a cart or like a food truck or something, but it's just like a shack, and they they have lines out to the street. Like yep, all hours wow. of the day. Dude, that's always the best spot. Yeah, Hattie's uh, hot chickens like that. Yeah, there's um, a lot of small pancake hot chicken places. pantry was like another 60, 70 people outside because that was the next place we tried to go to. <laughs> um, and then at that point we we're like, it's almost it's lunchtime. <laughs> like we tried to find a place and it was lunchtime. I was like, do you just want to get chicken? Just gotta eat. Dude, at that point <laughs> we're like, I'm fucking hungry. I just want something good. Uh, no, but, and then, like, we went to the pharmacy place, and I was like, oh, that yeah, was our pharmacy. anniversary place. That's, that, I was talking about the taco place across from pharmacy. Wow, who's calling me? Whatever that's who's called. Who's calling me? I wonder. I wonder <laughs> who's calling me. Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pizza. <laughs> they heard you. Uh, hey. Heard we heard, we heard pizza. pizza. <laughs> your favorite pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never call me again, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the pharmacy, when we went there, it actually ended up only being an hour till we got seated. But when we went there, they're like, yeah, it's going to be an hour and 45 minutes until you get seated. So Ooh, that's where all the hipsters that. go. Dude. Damn. What are they okay. s- it's oh. like a chicken place, though, you're talking no, about? No, 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 it's a burger place. Pharmacy is a burger place. And a beer garden. It's a beer garden. Yeah, it's called the Pharmacy something something and beer yeah. garden. So they have like a shit ton of craft beers that you want. But their big thing is, is like, I mean, great. You can get those beers anywhere. That's my problem to where like, that's why I didn't go there for it. it but listen, they make, they have a old school um, soda machine. And they make handmade like so- soda, soda pop, like re- soda, legit pop, pop, soda pop, soda pop, pop, pop. Um, so I got I got their um, it's like called like the pharmacy special or something like that, and it was a uh, lemon syrup, and um, it was a cream, it was a cream soda with lemon syrup and something else. But Cody. um, I mean, dude, it was I think it was vanilla, I think it was vanilla. Nice. It was the one of the best drinks Probably I've ever had. Solid flavor. 
And also, uh, if you ever go there, get uh, it's called the Farm Burger. Get that, dude. I think it's like an so over, easy, over easy egg. Uh, some of the best damn bacon I've had. Huge ass patty. But one of the best things, they have some of the best bread I've ever had for like a burger. Those brioche buns. Yep. Dude, this is so Wait, weird. Where, hey, yeah, Nathan, where was this at? This is in Nashville. Uh, no, you want to hear what's so pharmacy. funny is three it's birthdays ago. City. It's kind of like in the yeah, dude. neighborhood outside the city. No, yeah, so no. It's 10 minutes from like I don't know. If, yeah, it's real close. I don't know if it's still in Atlanta, but three birthdays ago, uh, uh, my dad was talking about he wanted to take me to this burger place to buy his job. There's and there's this food. place called Farm Burger. <laughs> and their specialty burger is called the, what did you say, like Farm Burger? I've been a Farm Burger. Yeah, and they serve and, and their specialty dude, burgers. The that's same that's thing, what it sounds like so egg. fucking familiar. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. It's ser- they serve an egg, and then what's crazy too is like I bit into it, and it was the egg complimented the patty, and then I was like, dude, this yeah. bread is fucking delicious. And they're like, oh yeah, because da 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 da, you know, organic shit. They bake their bread. <laughs> organic. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> dude, that little spiel that place lost you, and then you never went there again. <laughs> dude, that place oh, no, is yeah. hella hipster. Because <laughs> I no, I see. I never went there again because I heard. Mm. I think my dad told me like I wanted to go there again like. Six a couple months after we'd gone, and I think he said they closed it down. Oh, damn, because like it's like Ronnie Jones, rest in peace. No, yeah, rest in oh, peace, and uh, Jones. hot dog heaven, RIP. What it they shut down, they too? shut it down, they're going to shut it down soon. So, do you know? I tried to go there with Devin like two weeks ago, and like they're like uh closed for personal reasons. And I was like, this is gonna happen again, Devin. I said, this is gonna happen again. No, the one yeah. out here, huh? The one out here, yeah, yeah. Downtown, downtown. I think we have one in Ackworth, so you guys are covered. Oh shit, dude! I didn't know that. True, but I that place Heaven was one. The only place. problem is that place is always shut down or like closed. If it's like the one in downtown, I think the latest that place stays open is like five or six. Yeah, uh, uh, this what? one's next to a Kroger, but they do like fried Oreos and stuff like Damn. that. Dude, they did that at Hot Dog Heaven because remember, yeah, I thought you like got the, the chocolate thing. dipped. That's uh, right. They had awesome. They had yeah, some... but we we I wasn't hungry for dessert, and then you tried the chocolate dip banana, wasn't it? No, no, you tried chocolate dip something. And you were like, dude, this is fucking awesome. Nice. I can't remember what it was. I don't, I don't think I remember. Banana. Eating I think we it joked about like, the banana though, because like uh, I hate Arrested banana. Development. I hate banana. I hate no, yeah, that's what you're saying. I was like, <laughs> dog, get one anyways. But I, I didn't want one. No, you're like, I remember because you were like, dude, that chocolate banana looks good, but I'm full. And I was like, ugh, dude, fuck banana. <laughs> uh, news update: Farm burgers still open. Oh, okay. Word, Cause I, word, cause word. I knew I went like I want to six months ago first though. Cause I heard they, cause there's a Shake Shack in Atlanta, and I want to fuck with that. It's all right. Damn. What Greg? place? You said Shake Shack. Cause Shake I heard Shack. it's the Never East Coast there. version of uh, Whataburger. Not Whataburger. Um, in and out. Bro, right okay. above uh, Farm Burger, it's called this place called Russo's. The best sushi you will ever have. I thought you said Russo's for a second. I was yeah, like, I Ooh, that's no, not. I've no, heard no. of Russo's. I've heard of Russo's. Had, no, Russo's, dude. Sushi like this big, and they give you like eight of those. So good. Damn. Talking about food with you, Gabe. What's your favorite? What's your favorite pizza you've ever had? It's this place called Leopoldo's in uh, Carrollton, Georgia. Okay, oh. like close to Alabama. It's like all handmade. It takes honestly it takes like forty five minutes to get your pizza. God damn, dude! Because they put it in like a little um, stone oven. It's like super thin crust. Like yeah, yeah. I was kind of embarrassed to say this because y'all were shitting on cheese guys. I'm a cheese type of guy on my pizza. Like yeah, strictly I mean, like, cheese. Dude, if you love it. But I like my yeah. dad just plays it safe, and I'm just like, dude, like. I mean, that's the best because you can have some shitty pepperoni. It makes sense. Oh, dude, but you I get your that dad. pepperoni off. You can't add <laughs> pepperoni to the worst. Like pizza. the worst pepperoni is when it's those like tiny discs where they're like literally like half an inch yeah. in diameter because they shrink when they get okay, cooked. But the only you know, <laughs> like, okay. and then the, they put like three of those on like one slice. And it's like, there's your pepperoni. It's like, <laughs> you mean like, what? You mean school like pizza? I ordered pepperoni. He's like, what the fuck pizza? is this shit? I remember when I would get like school pepperoni and that like, like pepperoni pizza and there'd be like 20 slices out there mm-hmm. and all of them have like four or five fucking like pieces of pepperoni. It looks good. And that bitch always gave me the one that had like one, one. and a half. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, just one full pepperoni, and then half. Just to cut. piss you off, dude. I mean, she did that shit on I, purpose. I, I mean, dude, I can't remember. I, there's multiple times I was like, "Can you please give me another slice, like, like a different slice?" I'm not. I asked for a pepperoni pizza. Now, next, next in line. <laughs> next in line. <laughs> so, what was this place again? Leopoldo's. Leopoldo's. Okay, Carrollton, yeah. Georgia. Yeah, super thin crust. Yeah, it's not. It's in the square. Like when you go to Carrollton, it's like the square, whatever. This this is a franchise. Though, okay, so I've you, heard of these. Oh, have you? Yeah. So you tried this place. And you did cheese. You want to know my problem here's with that, Here's the thing. Though? Here's the thing. I did four cheese. 
Hey. Four cheese. Four cheese. I'll fuck with four okay. cheese. Four, four cheese. cheese good. Dude, literally the cheesiest pizza. I took one slice out, dripping with cheese. Hey. I don't like that. Super thin crust. Dude, no, it's like organic cheese. And plus they have like this magical beer tap, for like every type of beer you can did get. You, nice. Did you bite the pizza? Do a front flip, hop on a skateboard, and say "Cowabunga, dude." I mean, <laughs> my, 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 my tongue did that when I tasted it. <laughs> Literally, so good. I, I, I honestly recommend this pizza. Dude, talking about all these beer and all these places, Greg, or or even Gabe, or even Nathan, have any of you guys been to Five Seasons? No, no, no I have not. Sounds too fancy. Um, yeah. Dude, five Savannah seasons. and I go to the it's Asian awesome. restaurant across from it. No, yeah, see, um, I've been in everywhere in around Springs, there. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The place that's across from it, I forgot what it's called. It's really good, but no, yeah, yeah, I've never been there. Dude, Five Seasons is fucking awesome. Yeah? Because what's dope is the beer they serve. I mean, you can order other beer if you want, but what they're known for there is they brew all their own beer there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've heard of it. No, yeah. It's, like, it, I've been really hesitant about that place because there's a lot of places that are like, we're a brewery restaurant and we have our own beers, but usually they suck. It, like, there's places in Chattanooga that do that, and they're yeah. like, shit. So yeah. I've been like, eh, I don't know if I want to go there. Fun fact, I guess you can say, you know, school teaches you something. The guy who runs Five Seasons was one of the founders of Sweetwater. Oh. I can see that. Mind blown? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> Mind blown? Dude, Sweetwater is great. I see, I, Sweetwater. I, see, water's straight. It's just, I'm not the biggest fan of American IPAs. Fair enough. I do like European IPAs. Fair enough. Because they're not I hate as IPAs. they're not I think as they're some of the worst beer you can. There's there's definitely exceptions. They're an acquired taste. Yeah. No, I yeah. just think they're horrible. That's cool. That's good to know. I'll definitely uh, acquired taste though. Yeah. No, Go yeah. Check that out. And I uh, and I met the chef there too, but because I mean this was all for like my class, so he was like pairing stuff with beer. Yeah. And the I mean all the beers they served us were delicious. So what should I get? Oh, uh, dog. He Put got, him on the spot. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, see, I don't remember the beers, but I do remember this dude whipped out ahi tuna tacos Woo. and was talking about how he could only get it in this time of serve and all this stuff. And uh, it comes from, I think he says ahi tuna is from Alaska and mm-hmm. how they just got a fresh batch. Dude, and he that's, made it. that's my shit. No, I, yeah. I love ahi tuna everywhere. Oh, dude. it was, I, I, I hate fish tacos. But I fuck with ahi tuna tacos. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You get that and nice like summer wheat ale or something. Yeah, no, oh. thank you. That's what that's what he gave us. That's what yeah. he gave us. Cause he was like, yeah, he's, he's like, he's like, you feel it, you feel like you're at the beach now. And I was like, dog, chill. We get it. You're from California. <laughs> yeah, we got it. But um, that's uh, that's my little beer spiel for the nice for nice. the show. How about you, Greg? Greg, what is your what is your favorite pizza? Um. You've ever had? I'm gonna have to go with uh this place out in, in Hamilton Mill area of georgia it's uh basically kind of buford georgia Mm -hmm. it's called caprice it's like a new york style uh pizza and italian restaurant that sounds they have what's called the deli supreme there and it's the ultimate meat lovers pizza that's that's a lot when i say this thing is covered I mean layers of meat on top of layers of meat on top of layers. Damn, of meat. Like my, how salty was it? It's so salty. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my biggest problem was like when I worked at Peace Love and Pizza, their meat lovers was the saltiest thing I've ever tasted. Mm-hmm. What's like, great about this, and unlike a lot of places, no fucking hamburger. Get that shit off my meat pizza. What do you mean no hamburger? Like, like ground like beef. Ground meat? No, that's, that's, yeah. that's what my dad. My dad likes ground beef. No, like Ew, that's, that's his, nasty. I'm talking Think prosciutto of, ham. Yeah, good. Italian sausage, Ooh, great. pepperoni. Where's the salami? And then the salami. Oh, dude, you're killing me. It's the best. I, but hey, I hey, hey, bad. hey! Go suck your dick over there with your four cheese pizza, <laughs> bro. Yeah. No one, no one, no one. What if you combine the four cheese with the Deli Supreme? I feel like that'd be a little Dude, too much. that would be illegal. <laughs> so what type of crust are we talking? Instant heart attack. It's like New York style, so... um, Not like thin, thin crust. Rising crust, like whatever yeah. your, your standard your rising regular crust. regular crust yeah. that you probably get in most places. Right, right. All right, all right. Good dough, solid dough. How about, how about sauce? <laughs> sauce? Good sauce? Oh, yeah. See, sauce, I feel like, is like... The how main. do you guys stand on sauce? Because I'm a, like a big fan of light sauce. Okay, see, I'm... Here we go. I'm about good to get question, in mine. I'm about to get in mine. I like and a I'll good amount of sauce. I don't want too much sauce. Like I want even amount of cheese 
and no, sauce. No, see, I want like as little sauce as possible. Really? Okay. Yeah, see, I'm not a big usually sauce guy. It, de- it depends you on the just place. Want cheese bread. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you want to know? You want to know the best thing? And this is why this is my favorite pizza. It's when we went to Nashville. And I've always been like thin crust, or not thin crust, or just rising crust, your regular New York style pizza, but I've never had Chicago style pizza. Me mm-hmm. either. I to try it. Like, like, it's like a legit, it's like went to a legit place of like, like this place was made by people from Chicago. They Kanye. went to Nashville, Chirac started a Chicago style place called 312 Pizza Company. That's his body count. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually the, uh, it's actually the, the, um, <laughs> Actually, it's a body count. <laughs> I have nothing else to say there. That's how much he can bench. <laughs> yeah. That's how much I weigh. He says his body count. <laughs> but the place, dude, the place is insane. But it's a legit deep dish pizza. I'm talking like the thickest crust you've sauce ever on top? seen. Sauce on top. Uh, you want to know why? Okay, uh, you want to know why that's? It's the best thing I've ever had, and why. The, I only Wait, what do you guys want mean Chica- by sauce on top. That's Chicago okay, style. Okay, so a Chicago, Chicago style deep dish is a big, thick, thick deep dish pizza. You got okay. a lot of dough. All right, the the outside is going to be very crunchy, but the inside of that dough, it's going to be fully cooked, but it's going to be very uh, soft. It's almost like you get with a uh, like like uh, it's like bread, like a cheese bread or something like that. You get somewhere. Um, then the cheese, and you know the the best thing about that with pizza. Is it almost has the take? It, it tastes like pizza, but it also has the take of like cheese sticks with marinara sauce. Because what they do is, um, or they put the pepperoni and the sauce together, um, or the cheese. They put the cheese on there, and then the um, pepperoni is on top, and then they drizzle it, or basically dump uh, marinara sauce on top of it. Because it's all in a pan. Yeah, it's all in a pan. About that. Bro, it is the best. Way you can ever have a pizza. I guess I gotta try it to actually yeah. really like. Like, because that's what I was saying. Like, like it was the most delicious, most like, like you were capturing every flavor. And honestly, dude, you don't. It's so good, and it, those those flavors are hitting so well. You honestly don't want like, like four types of pizza. You don't want there. yeah all the time. Like I was like, dude, I'm fine with this only being pepperoni. You know why? Yeah. This is why I'm a sauce guy. That was the best fucking sauce I've ever had ever on a pizza. I just don't come. It the was sauce just so. Top. It was so. I'm not a big tomato guy either. Like I don't really like tomatoes mm-hmm. too much. I like I like pico on my like burritos or um or tacos or something like that. I really like that. But other than that, I'm not really the biggest guy on it. But um, it was it was like sweet, a little tangy, and best damn cheese I've ever had on a pizza. Best dough I've ever had on a pizza. And then of course the pepperoni was sublime. <laughs> Sublime. But do you guys like if you guys haven't had a Chicago style pizza? And I'm not saying Dude. like like I've only had it once. Like that's all I've had it. No, it I mean I want to try one. I'm about to but try I'm it still in a couple there weeks. With Gabe though, where um, it's gonna be interesting. Where like I'd rather have my thing like not 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 to this extent where Gabe's like I don't want sauce. I want sauce, but I want light sauce. That's what I'm saying. I don't not not want sauce. I just want light sauce. Mm. No, yeah. Like I still want to like have some sauce flavor to it. Like I always do light sauce. Um, like the worst, honestly, is when like, there's like a huge glob of sauce at the crust. Like at the very top yeah. of the crust. Like that I don't like is the glob, fucking worst. But you know what I like? I like it to where it's brushing on the crust and it's not like too too crunchy. See, so always it's have like the... just caressing the crust. Yeah, just like a little <laughs> nuzzle on the yeah. crust. Yeah. <laughs> see, I'm not a big like I don't like too much cheese. That's my thing. How do you not? I mean, oh, see, that's what it makes me sick. Like it honestly makes you're, me. You're you're almost lactose intolerant, right? Like a little bit. Yeah. But like, dude, like I know honestly, like I try to like cheese and like I love cheese. Dude, yeah, if I get too much cheese in a bite of something, it's usually white cheese I'm good with. So like I dude I can down like mozzarella sticks or like dude. mozzarella I never have any problems with parmesan I never have any mozzarella problems with. ricotta I have a lot of problems with ricotta cheese is it's an acquired taste but it's it an acquired is really taste good. and also there's a texture to that that the other ones don't have yeah like ricotta cheese is like it's it's hard to explain what it is mm-hmm. it's like it's wet yeah it's like wet but it's squishy wet. and then it's like it's like fresh uh, mozzarella fresh yeah mozzarella ex- is exactly but no oh no dude. So see, wet. The t- t- is see, great. was there not fresh mozzarella on your Chicago pizza? No. Interesting. I don't think so. It was just regular p- uh, mozzarella. Mozzarella. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Fresh mozzarella is like completely different texture, consistency, and everything. It's like if you drop cheese in water and left a fucking hour and picked it back up. And it, like, no, no, I know, what, I know what fresh mozzarella is. Yeah. But why I'm asking is because I've never personally had a Chicago style pizza. But when I first found out that there's such thing as a Detroit style pizza, I was like, 
Okay, these cities just want their hold own up, style Hold on, hold on. What is a Detroit style yeah, pizza? What is, I've never heard that. Take on a... Oh, it's it's literally the same thing. Like what Greg, I mean, not what Greg, but what uh, Nathan was describing with a deep dish. Yeah. But instead of their, I mean, there's still a soft center, but their whole thing is just about the crunch. So you like they want as crunch as possible. Yeah. Hmm. I can dig that. I like a crunchy pizza. Yeah, so like, like even when you're biting like the normal dough, the normal dough is supposed to be a little crunchy. Like the, the that, um, I like that. I like that. About that. The no. crust is supposed. Oh, so to you're a soft dough kind of guy. Yeah. No, hey, I mean like soft. That's, that's, that's a, a okay. But that's the thing that's the best. Like about I Chicago want like style. the edge of my crust cr- crunchy, cr- crunchy yeah. but I don't want like to bite in the very corner of my slice and have it crunch. No, no, no I feel okay. you. Me Fair enough. I agree. Yeah. yeah. No, I like either or. See that, and the only reason I'm asking is because usually that's a sign of burnt crust. Yeah, no, usually. and usually, and usually, like when you look at pictures, like you'll see like little burnt pieces yeah, singed yeah. on it. Yeah, that's the only reason I was asking though, Nathan, is because when I've seen pictures of Chicago pizza, mm-hmm. it's like you see the you see the sauce drizzled on it, like you said, but then you see globs of cheese because I'm assuming they just throw fresh mozzarella, mozzarella on there on and it. let it just melt. melt. Yeah, yeah, that that sounds awesome. No, yeah. I mean, even if it did, it was, it was fantastic. Whatever it was, sounds, sounds good. good. I gotta try this. We've been researching uh, pizza places because Savannah and I are gonna go to Chicago in like two weeks. Dude. So we're about to Chirac. hit up some Chicago Dude, pizza hell. places. Yeah. Be careful. But um, I saw this like video the other day. I guess part of this research, maybe it was just on Facebook. But there's a restaurant that's doing like a really different take on pizza, where they basically take a bowl. And then instead of using mozzarella, they just use Wisconsin white cheddar slices. And they just, like, line the entire bowl, like, layers of cheese. Then they throw in meatballs and sauce in the bowl. And then they take the dough and wrap it over the top of the bowl. Put the bowl in the oven, bake it, and then when it comes out, they just flip it on your plate. That sounds good. And then that's your your dish. What does that help? Does that just keep it, like... keep it consistent, like... It's just a. I guess it's like a different way. It's like eating a bread bowl, except it's filled with pizza stuff. That sounds good. I mean, so the, it's like even it's like Wisconsin the cheddar. Not really my thing because I'm not a cheddar guy. But well, I mean, like, if yeah. it was regular, regular, yeah, I'd be totally down with that. That yeah. sounds that sounds good. It looked interesting. I don't know, but Chicago style is the best damn pizza, and I was anticipating it be, to be good. Hey, right, we'll see. We'll see. But, whoo- Hey, but it's, it's more it's more like okay your, your regular sh- like new york style pizza is going to be your regular like that's where you go order pizza you're, you're yeah. most likely not going to get a good damn deep dish pizza like that's a you go to dine in because dude it took a long time for him to cook it because mm-hmm. they're busy they said it's gonna take an hour for you to get food yeah it was where i was worth it we were like damn also the place had the best mozzarella sticks i've ever had mm-hmm. like it could just There's be a the lot of good food in Nashville for sure. Oh yeah, pharmacy so burger. Well, it, those that and three twelve pizza were the highlights. I think for us, for sure. Uh, biscuit love was pretty cool. Huge ass chicken biscuit. Um, still prefer Chick Fil A. Guys, we should start hey. Pizza Club. Pizza Club, dude. I'm totally down. <laughs> no, like, for dude, we, like pizza is my favorite. We food. research places in Georgia and we just hit this up. Like I'm totally down, dude. I'm down. I'm down, I'm down to check out a Chicago style place around here. If you guys want I to. really want to do that pizza <laughs> challenge. Like the really Dude, big okay, ass pizza. But a place that's really that. close I'll to pass. us that's actually really fucking Sky. good. Like if you guys want to go get like dinner before like one of our shows or something like that, um, there might maybe be one near Greg. Um, the place down the street from me is called Your Pie, and they make like personal size pizzas, but they're pretty. They're like ten inch I've pizzas. Oh, that place. That place is yeah, pretty legit. Their their wheat crust is pizza crust Their wheat crust is better than their white crust. <clears throat> I don't know why. Like their wheat crust just tastes phenomenal. And uh, they use fre- fresh ingredients. They have some of the best sauce I've ever had, though. Whatever yeah. happened to cheese scru- like stuffed crust pizza? Like I feel like I don't hear about that more. Yeah, Dude, like, I, I feel like that, that's that was gone. Just shitty. No, I always liked them. It could be good. I yeah, liked them, but like, like that was never th- okay. Like, I feel like it was a I've fad. Had, it was never the best pizza I've ever had. I mean, it was always dude, like it, okay, pizza, pizza. Has, to, has some decent you know, crust. Who Pizza Hut? I no. I mean no. Go ahead. What's what's your synopsis? What? <laughs> of, like my opinion of Pizza Hut, yeah, not synopsis. Synopsis like like Personally, what's the story? Yeah, I know what's your synopsis like, on it. Like what's the <laughs> stories? All right, so here's the deal with Pizza Hut, right? You're usually gonna get too much sauce, but you're not gonna get as much sauce as Papa John's because Papa John's is nothing but sauce, Dude, right? Papa John's. So okay. when you go to when you go to Pizza Whoa, Hut, you're hate, gonna I get like your sauce? standard like Life decent sauce. pizza, but if you get a deep dish. That like, deep dish at Pizza Hut. You get like a pan style, is what I mean. A pan yeah. style pizza, Pizza Hut. They're just good. 
That's really good. If you get like a personal pan, box or you get a personal box. pan pizza, that's where it's at. I'll agree with him. Their pan pizzas are so much better than their um, regular pizzas. Yep. Hey, did anyone back in the day ever catch... Jets has the best pan pizza, though. Wait, where? Jets. Hey, just had some he Jets just tonight. Had some today. <laughs> yeah. I fuck with what Jets. is it called? Like the eight corner or whatever they yeah, call it? Yeah, Jets the corner pizza. Yeah. I think, yeah, eight, eight corner pizza. That's the only thing to get there. Yo, how long, how open, how long does that place stay open? I don't know. Damn. <laughs> Never mind. <Getting> some pizza. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I honestly, I honestly don't. So I guess now we're talking about chains, right? Yeah, oh, second, dude. That was my second chains part. Is Jets spot, is my favorite. Dude. It is my favorite chain. Like, I mean, delivery pizza. Jets yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jets. Let's, yeah let's, let's make sure everybody knows. We're talking... Yeah, we're talking delivery pizza. Uh, I'm a big fan like of Domino's. Like a place you can order from home. You yeah, said Domino's. Jets? Oh, yeah, Jets. And, and Jets does deliver, right? Yeah, Jets does deliver. Okay. Jets will deliver to your house. Dope. Won't deliver to my house because I'm 0. 0.1 miles over their limit, wow. which is five. I think. <laughs> where are they? Can't you just bribe them with extra tips? So like, hey. I mean, honestly, if I would have called them, I would have been like, hey, my house is 0. 0.1 miles over. Can you guys just come? They probably would have came, but I just drove oh, there. Oh, yeah, they will. Um... But uh, uh, where are they? The one I went to was on Shallowford Road, which was like a 20-minute drive from my house. But I think there's another one in Alpharetta somewhere, somewhere. When I looked it up last time we were here, mm-hmm. um, that's actually even closer than that to your house. Dope. That sounds dope. I think it was like, honestly, I, mean, I want to say it was like an 8 or 10-minute drive. That's not bad. When I was looking it up. How about you, Greg? What is, is Jets your favorite? Uh, no, if we're talking just like chain pizza places in general, I'm going to have to go Mellow Mushroom. But I mean, if we're talking like delivery specifically. You can get Mellow Mushroom delivered, I think. No. I mean, you, you can can't. pick it up. Oh, yeah, it's just it, carry, it, carry, carry on. on but for, yeah, if we're talking delivery. Uh, the closest thing you're going to get to Mellow Mushrooms is Peace Love and Pizza in, in uh, Georgia. Or at least. Dude, Peace Love used to be my favorite delivery. But I've actually I've, never been there. I fuck with uh, Jets more now. Just because I love their deep dish. I went back. The piece of love and got their uh, the one thing I always loved there when I worked there was their um, meatball sub. So instead of a regular sub, what they do is um, they have sliced meatball and then they they put it in the oven halfway um, with the marinara and the cheese on top of it. And then they uh, take that out, put it in the um, put it in the um, bread and then put it back in the halfway mark. Damn. And whoo, <clears throat> that is good. I'm gonna be a wild card here for delivery. Well, go ahead. It's not it really. It's not really torn. It's not really delivery, but <laughs> I'm gonna you. I'm gonna go out on a limb and just say Little Caesars. It's not bad pizza for nah, what you're getting for five dollars. Nah, it's bad pizza. Nah. It, it, okay, okay. It's bad pizza. It's five dollar pizza though. It is five dollar pizza. Know. I'll take it any day over Domino's. Whoa, oh, shots fired. Yeah. Dude, DJ. shots fired. Domino's, you know why? You know why? Real cheese. I know people who've worked at Little Caesars and, and have said really bad things of how they make the pizza. And I worked at Domino's and they were at least fresh. Hmm. Real cheese, man. How about you, how about you, Gabe? What was your favorite? What's your favorite? Delivery? Domino's. Domino's. I stay fucking with Domino's. Domino's. Up there. Dude, the Domino's app literally almost use it every week. <laughs> every Damn. week. Dude, Domino's is cheap. Pull up my app, like they know me. Mine's Papa John's. And I know you don't really like it because they add too much cheese. You can always light cheese that shit. No, it's not that. I just don't like. I, it's just something I don't like about Papa John's. Dude, I love just, it. It's hard to explain what it is. I just don't like it. They, I think they have fresher doughs than Domino's mm. when I worked there. I think they <clears throat> have. I like that they give you the little pepperoncini peppers. Those are delicious. Dude, every time. I just like the garlic sauce. And the do. garlic sauce, oh, too. And the garlic sauce. That's the main reason why I love, love it there. <laughs> it's the grease. Dude, but I mean, it's I mean, it literally cheese. is grease, but That's it's dang it grease. <laughs> it's like dang grease. Dude, and their dough's good. Yeah. They have some good. I'll give you dough. that. The dough is good. It's just I don't know what it is. Do, it's do, it's it's a it's a it's a close call. Domino's being a close second for me, but definitely, mm-hmm. definitely Papa John. Dude, I think their I think their meat selection tastes better. Their spicy Italian sausages, the shit. I What's like your it. go-to pizza? Like mine's always Hawaiian. Pepperoni. Like, Pepperoni. I'm a huge Hawaiian guy. Mm, that's a that's a good question. Um, I don't know, dude. Are we talking like pineapple? Yeah, like Hawaiian pineapple. It's just pineapple and ham. It's yeah, a Hawaiian that's Hawaiian pizza, right, dude. That's I love that. To me, you there's like nothing saying, worse need... than getting like a lukewarm pizza that has ham on it. Yeah, like that's just something about that doesn't. It taste caramelizes right. too yeah, weird. I can see that. I don't know. Pepperoni is just, dude. That's what I'm saying. Pepperoni is made for pizza. Yeah. Like, think of another thing that pepperoni is in that it's 
even close to pizza. Dude, I don't, I don't, I don't associate anything besides pizza with Dude, pepperoni. Like, I, don't, I really don't. Other than that, See? the sandwich, like. Dude, well, I, I won't even associate that with a sandwich. See, that's why oh, I, I don't would. mess with pepperoni. Because I've never heard on anything else other than pizza. That's why, and I know you guys were talking about you hate the little pepperonis that that heat up and then they they, they <laughs> the shrink. The lunchables. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so but tiny. I like the opposite of that. And salami? The extra the salami. large. salami. Yeah. Like thin the, sliced yes, pepperonis. Yes, dude. That salami is great. That's my shit right there. There's actually a place, I think it's called like Max's in Atlanta. Yeah. I've heard of Max's. Um, they have really small pepperoni pepperonis but they're fantastic because of one they overload it do the um, same thing with jets if you say bold pepperoni it'll give you that tiny little pepperoni and they just stack it with that shit yeah dude and it's like it's really flavorful pepperoni and then they um i think they had their, their wood fireplace too i think or it's like cool. dude they just throw that shit in a big ass fire like oven. stove oven whatever cool Pizza oven, man. That thing's huge. That's how your pie does it, too. That's why I really think their crust tastes really good, because they throw that in that fire, dude. You get that. You get that. In the end, there's wooden. Yeah, I think it is a wood fire in that, too. I don't know. I just think that brings off a really good taste in the crust and how it cooks the meat. It's really good. But uh, are we saving Are we saving the topic, or are we going to? I thought that was the topic. What are we at right now? We're at 45. I mean, dude. We, we still can... got plenty of time. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean that's up to you guys. It's easier on us. We don't have to do a to- we don't have to think of another topic next week. I think it's a good I think that top the only problem is I feel like that topic could be talked for another forty five minutes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What, I'm, more, saying, more hey, pizza? I'm saying well, yeah, no, what, what we ain't gonna say our, it on the air. We ain't no, gonna yeah, make our it. second oh, topic. Are you talking about our right, second, yeah. yeah. Real real quick though. Let's go frozen pizzas. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, red, red Baron. Red Baron? Red Baron. Okay, you know, I used to fuck back in the Red day. Baron. Yeah, back dude, in the for day. for some odd reason, okay, it's just like that, and then California Pizza, the California nah. Pizza Kitchen. Oh, yeah. okay. They used to... Overrated. When they first... <laughs> no, no, no. When they first had that shit, it was amazing. And then they're like, bold new recipe. It's the worst. One of the worst frozen Damn. pizza I've ever had. Um, best, though? Um, Freshetta's pretty good, and then... Um, I don't know. I still fuck with DiGiorno's, but there's only some... Ones I fuck with. DiGiorno's is like hit and go, like hit and miss, you know? Okay, so but like, they had that fancy one. I can't remember what it's called. I honestly it's think I know what feast. you're talking about. I can't remember what it's and called. And the last frozen pizza I had was that? Was the, yeah, the, the was fancy dick. one. Because, yeah, no, same thing Gabe was doing was one of my friends was like, yeah, my mom left me like two DiGiorno's. You want to heat these up? And I was like, dude. It depends on what it is. Yeah, I was like, it depends what it is. <laughs> and he's like, he, I forgot what he said it was, but I know the fancy one. I don't know if it's like the supreme one, but it has multiple toppings on it. And I was like, um, I'll fuck with yeah, it. They have that, and they have a regular pepperoni. Yeah, and I think it's cheese. No, yeah, I, is it, is it I the always, pizzeria? Is that what they're called? Is it the pizzeria uh, stuff? I don't know. Do you, I don't know. I can't. But it's the Giorno's. It's, I think it's in a green. It has like a green outline, and it looks like like a wood fire pizza on yeah. top of it. And no, I know. Yeah, that's the ones. That's the one we had, and I was like, the crust dude, is really good. The this pizza, is, the sauce, the sauce is really yeah. good because it's actually a good, not a lot of sauce, but a you know regular, regular amount of sauce, sauce. But the sauce is so good. But it, like that's I think the main reason why is I think that thing's like a buck buck fifty more than your other pizzas around that that size, yeah. and uh, they're probably just using better ingredients as opposed to the others. Yeah. I always go DiGiorno, rising crust, no, pe- pepperoni. See, I'm yeah. just not a big rising crust fan. Their uh, stuffed crust is actually good too. Never had didn't know they did a stuffed crust. Yeah, that's ooh, good. bringing it back. I don't know. That sounds pretty good. Oh, yeah, interesting. 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 If they do it right, anybody fuck with Totino's? No. <laughs> I haven't fucked with, haven't fuck with Tostinos fuck, in fuck years, tostinos. dude. You make the... You Yo, make guys, the, you fuck with ramen? You make the Totinos, like, pizza burrito. Bro, speaking you of, fold like, that thing up, <laughs> you just eat it whole. Bro, those things are, like... <clears throat> you know those things have always been, like, a buck? Yeah. They're, like, a buck fifty now. They, like, skyrocketed. They went up 50%. <laughs> dude, speaking of, like, like, ramen noodles, dude, you can make that into fucking anything. True. Oh, yeah. Dude, me and my buddy made teriyaki chicken from ramen. We do that regularly, actually. Dude, it's a, it's we just, just put stir no, fry. No. We put stir fry veggies in there. Dude, no, we had we had a uh, like mayonnaise, jelly, uh, ketchup, mustard. Me. Make the sauce. That's a real fact. Oh, right. is that how you make teriyaki? No, I mean that's how we make teriyaki. Mm, interesting. It tasted just like fucking teriyaki. Hey, if it tastes just like it, and I'm you good. can't taste that mayo, dude, I'm down. I'm, I'm good. good. You like mayo? <laughs> I hate mayo. I hate sour Love cream. Me. Sour cream makes me want to throw up. But if you mix it, it in, in something sour enough, cream, yeah. and there's no consistency of sour cream, and there's almost no taste, dude, it, that's what it fucking. Just, it, usually, people use sour cream when they're using it in something else to thicken, yeah, uh, thicken something. And at that point, I'm fine. But if it gets, if it starts to taste yeah. like it, or the 
I don't like the taste of sour cream. I can by itself. I can, I can I can deal with it. I can't do the texture, dude. The texture makes me want to throw dude, up. Dude, that's what pisses me about like about Taco Bell burritos. Like any anything for real. Oh, it's no, like they'll, they'll they put it. like one spot of sour cream. So you bite oh, into dude. it, it's just like I was like, ah, bro. Do you guys remember when they they put the sour cream on my fresco style taco? Oh yeah, that yeah, was yeah. funny. <laughs> when it says on the menu that fresco style means no dairy products, yeah. What is sour cream? <laughs> dairy products. I don't know. It's a this, this is what I don't get. Up. This is what Alien I don't get. Is it says it on the menu? Wait, was that a Del Taco? No, Taco no, Del Bell. Taco, taco doesn't Bell. even use sour cream from all the Good. items I've ever ordered. Oh. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they do. Okay. They're just really big on like cheese. Yeah. Taco Bell only fucks with sour cream, dude. They they love that shit. Dude, but every okay, so like uh, that's why I don't get sour cream on there. So I don't really get the problem you have. Every time they fuck up and put sour cream on there, dude, it's loaded. It's like half the fucking taco. You can't even eat the taco. Yeah. But they'll mask though. it. They'll mask it. They'll put the they'll put the meat, then they'll put a huge ass glob of sour cream, and then they'll put the lettuce, and the lettuce like disguises yeah. that fucking sour cream. Incognito mosquito. So like I'll have that one time where I don't like fucking check it, because I check it like almost every time. And there's one time I didn't check it, and I was like, there's gonna be sour cream on big this. Old and bite. I was like, Took right a big old bite. No, it was big before old podcast. creamy white goodness. <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's had dripping down the side of his mouth. It's just yeah, it's just like you remember that? I was sitting here and I was yeah. like, this fucking taco's ruined. I know. <laughs> I was sitting there scraping it and I was you like, were dude, upset. I can't. I, was like, I can't even get it out. You started throwing punches and you'd screaming. Yo, I, and I had yeah, to, dude. I, I tried to punch. And I had to I calm you down you and beat yeah. Greg. Tell you, I, dude. I, yeah, bedtime dude, I got, story. I got, I got Luther's ribs. You were yeah. raging. I still, I still got. I still haven't gone to the doctor to get that checked, <laughs> so it kind of hurts when I, whenever I cough, <laughs> whenever I breathe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think we have anything else to talk about pizza, though. No, Is I don't there? Think so. Or we, or we can answer good. the one. What's your favorite like, uh, like chain that's not delivery? Oh, like, like, like uh, you said, mellow mushroom. Yeah, mellow mushroom mellow. probably up there. See, I only know mellow mushroom and then uh, taste of Italy. I've never been there. Taste Italy is delicious. See, there's a place. I don't know if it's a chain, but I'm guessing it is because it kind of looks like it. There's a place called Elysio's down the street from yeah. me. Have you ever been there? No, I've never been there. The place is really good. I mean, it's your regular New York style of pizza, but uh, I mean, they do it right. No, you haven't. Dude, never been then there. there's this place called Romano's or whatever, whatever that used to be in Crab Apple. Yeah. That place was Ooh, dope. Ippolito's. That, Ippolito's. Never had their pizza. Never had their pizza. Everything but else. Dang, that is some of the best yes. fucking Italian food I've ever had. Yo, Those garlic rolls? Yes, yeah, so I was about Still to the say. best thing about Italy. Still the best thing. <laughs> Dude, that, those things, oh. oh. Me and Devin will down like two, two like things of those things. Like, I'll take them shits to go because they will always oh, yeah. pack them for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. They last forever too. Yeah. If you fr- refrigerate them. <laughs> yeah, because they probably have like, they're probably frozen to begin with, but damn, are they good. You know who else has really good rolls? Um, they, they used to be better because like the, they their garlic that they put on it used to be uh, like a lot more. But uh, Provino's, have you been there? Nope. Yep. Provino's is really good. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit different take because it's like it's, it's like a like almost a watered down. It doesn't. It looks a little watered down, but and they have like actually like actual garlic. Cut yeah, up they on do top of instead it. of like the fluffy rolls covered in like Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Uh, they do like more like a softer, what? squishy, more compact roll, right? And then they yeah. put olive oil and actual minced garlic on top. Of yeah. it. Interesting. And then you dip Ooh. it in whiskey. Oh, yeah, I've had that. I've had that. That's, yeah. really it's good. Good. that's really good. It's good. And every time Devin, because Devin doesn't like all the garlic crap on top of it, she scrapes that off. I'm like, put I that prefer, back in the I bowl. prefer the fluffy ones, but I mean, I love garlic too, so. Well, it's I kind like of the, like the, uh, the when I go to Provino's, like I'm anticipating it. Like, yeah. So I get in the mood for it. But uh, I mean, if I'm going, if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably just go. You know, your 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 yeah. Ips the greatest, bro. Well, that Parmesan dude, because they they douse yep. that shit in Parmesan. Yep. Always, always. And Wait, so what? Good. Their uh, at their bread? I yeah. mean, the, the the garlic bread. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because they just put a little bit of garlic in between the bread and the Parmesan, and they just throw, they just fucking throw Parmesan on that thing, dude. It's so good. How about you, Gabe? What's your favorite chain? Oh, dude, mellow mushroom. Dude, mellow mushroom has to probably be it's mine really too. Good. That wheat crust, yes, dude, so good. Yeah, that cheese though. It's basically like a better version of peace love and pizza. It literally, it literally is. They like I, li- I literally think thing. peace love and pizza is just like, hey, let's just make a cheaper, not really, but uh, you know, not as good version of mellow mushroom and just make it a <laughs> delivery place. Trying to compete. Yeah. 
Kind of steel. I mean, they definitely have the, the 70s, let's smoke weed and get in a minivan kind of vibe that Mental Mushroom has. Since literally the fucking piece of down the street from me has Yo, a Yo, since we're talking about restaurants that, that are like in. into the 70s vibe and... Uh, a you Stoner know. Burger? Yeah. <laughs> Shouts out the Stoner Burger. That place is amazing. Yeah. So, have you tried? Oh, no, that's right. We both got the same burger. What was that thing called? I don't even remember, but it had oh, a donut I mean, for a bun. I mean, you guys can just call it the Luther because that's what it's Oh, the like. Luther Burger? Dude, that's the shit. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what it's known. <laughs> See, the thing is, when you read it, it sounds like it's one donut cut in half and then it's in between, but it was two donuts. Yeah. Whew. That's I insane. felt like I was going to pass out by the end of the fucking burger. And then they went to the liquor store afterwards, and I tried to take a quick nap in between <laughs> while I was waiting in the car. <laughs> slipping that. Not, not a coma, because I'll wake you up. You had the itis. Well, I, wanted, I wanted to slip in some slumber before <laughs> before I started driving again, because damn thing. That thing was like just full of sugar. Damn. Full of carbs. But the, be- the beef was good. Go I want to try a regular a burger next time there, though. Yeah, hey, I had a regular burger, I think. Was the beef good? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It was, it was Bun good. good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, like a good And then another bun. thing too, I'm a big bun guy though. Is if you fuck up with the bun, because I know a lot of people don't like ketchup. The ketchup at Stoner Burger is homemade, best ketchup I've ever had in my life. Tangy. See, I hate ketchup though. Ultra tangy. Yeah, it, it's weird. It doesn't no, taste uh, like ketchup. I hate ketchup too, and it's delicious. Yeah, <laughs> really, I'll have to try it then. It doesn't taste like, like ketchup. Dude, regular <laughs> ketchup, I like. I like. It's probably my least favorite condiment. It, yeah, it's 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 up, it's, it's, it's up almost up like a toma- like a tangy tomato. Yeah. Like, it's tomato sugar. Like saute, like or not saute. What is the word? Like pureed. Like yeah, I think that's what it is. It's like a tomato like sauce. puree. Yeah, yeah. So it's more sauce than like. like it's not paste. It's, it's like not. more pureed and liquidy than that. But it's okay. not like ketchup at all. Yeah, mm. it's delicious. I'll have to try it then. It sounds it almost like everything. it's almost like taking. It, <laughs> it almost <laughs> just sounds like you're taking a like taking a step out of um, just making barbecue sauce. That's what a lot of people do is, is like they use ketchup as a base for barbecue sauce. Mm. Mm-hmm. Didn't know that. Yeah, no. the, a lot of they it, it, it a lot vinegar. of people that do homemade uh, barbecue sauce use uh, ketchup as a base. Yeah, did not know that. Yep, yep. But once you add all that other stuff in there, it starts to turn into something completely different. I'm still just trying to find out the secret recipe to Chick Fil A and Zach sauce. <laughs> I think Zach's sauce is just like every, like there's so many ingredients in Zach sauce. No, yeah, they Honestly, are. someone I mean like I need, we need to try it. There's like homemade recipes. I remember when because I think anchovies I, are the key. Uh, oh, dude, fucking yeah. love anchovies. Weird. Interesting. Did not know that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but like Baja Blast. People said you can put like blue Powerade and regular Mountain Dew together, and it almost tastes just like Baja Blast. Hmm. Huh. Or something to that didn't, extent. Didn't know I remember that fine, I can see that. I, I started going on that like a do it yourself kind of thing because I was like wonder or like at least checking it out. I was like, I never tried it, but I wanted to try it. The homemade Baja Blast, but uh. That's how I figured out that uh, you can basically just mix a bunch of your, you know, biggest condiments that people use and mix them together and you get something that is very close to Zach sauce. Hmm. Also, I noticed every single place that has their own, like, special sauce is a Zach sauce. Yeah, when I got that Bojangle sauce and you're like, dude, what does that taste like? And I was like, it's like a spicier uh, Zach sauce. And you're like, what does that mean? And I was like, taste it. And you're like, oh, okay. I see what you mean, like a, shitty, like spice, like they threw more spices in there, mm-hmm. but it wasn't that good. It had a weird. Oh, I, I fuck, know. I fuck with a bojangle sauce because I like that spiciness. Bro, yeah. I think they're, I think they're <laughs> sausage great, like their gravy and the yeah. sausage and it's so good. I just, I just get fucking mashed potatoes and gravy as my side and fucking dip the chicken in that. Oh, it's so good. No, no. Cholesterol. Yep. Ah, oh, uh, there's no such thing when when you're 22. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> But uh, I think that's the I think that's the end of the first episode of the Nerd Outlet podcast. Pizza's good. Brought good to pizza. you by your local pizza place. <laughs> Whatever it. you want it to be. Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> but um, signing off is Luther joining me, Gabe, Nathan, and Greg. You can find us at Nerd Outlet slash I mean no Facebook slash Nerd Outlet on Twitter at Nerd Outlet. On Instagram at Nerd Outlet, and I think Gabe's still working on the Tumblr. What's yeah. up with that? Still working on it. Okay. So How's that progress? ass cast going, dude? It was going, 
<laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you had to scrap all that. It was, it was <laughs> terrible. I, I just want to keep. I just want you to up. say it from there. I don't even want to know anything else. Like I like. No, I, I messed up in some of like the uh, logistics of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So some of the. Uh, it calculations. It turns out the of name the of the it ass. Turns out the name Askcast is actually already taken on everything. Everything. <laughs> I mean, I'm there's no dude. domain name. I'm, I'm there's no it's like Twitter. <laughs> it's all. It's all taken. Even Askcast sixty nine. I really want to. Do- Askcast sixty nine. We couldn't even do ass taken. underscore cast. cast. Like, <laughs> dude, I even tried X, uh, lowercase <laughs> X, uh, uppercase X, Ax- ass cast. ass cast. <laughs> uppercase X, lowercase X. That was taken too. Uh, Did you make change the S's to money signs? Yeah. Oh uh, damn! I don't know what to say after that. No, one. I actually, was <laughs> the first one I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I even did like an at symbol and then a dollar sign oh, and a dollar damn. sign and then a C and then another at and then another dollar sign. And then that, a that doesn't make sense. Damn. Ass cast? You guys need to find out who holds these domains. It's that one. It's that Jimmy dude down the street. <laughs> Fuck that Jimmy guy, man. We're gonna we're gonna he, rustle he, every every we're gonna, F cast on, we're gonna knock on his door. Give this guy a little beating <laughs> and give make him give up the domain. Yeah. Jimmy, 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 turn. Give us a nickel for some lemonade down the street. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, we'll see you next week. Stay golden, Pony Boy. <laughs>